In this series of short movies, I'm describing nine elements of authentic learning environments for schools, universities and other education and training contexts. In this movie, I'm discussing the last element, authentic assessment. Authentic assessment is where a task is integrated with the assessment rather than having separate testing. So authentic assessment means that you have seamless integration of the assessment with the task. It also means that what you assess is generally a very polished kind of product. And usually that product has taken significant time and effort in collaboration with other students. So you can be uh, assessing a, a genuine product or perhaps another uh, really useful way to look at it is to assess uh, portfolios that students have compiled over a, over a period of time. Uh, just a, a word about the alignment of the task and the assessment. Often you might have given students a really authentic task and it's actually been made quite ineffective at the end of the day by teachers really applying norm reference criteria when what they've got to mark is a whole range of different products, none of which is similar in any way to each other that's been presented by the students. So it's really important to align the task with the assessment. And an example I've got of that is, for instance, say you're teaching an introductory research methods course and you developed an authentic task for students that requires them to produce a research report for publication in a magazine. And that might be a consumer magazine, like um, in Australia there's a magazine called Choice, which independently examines a whole range of different products and writes a report on, on how good they are at what they do. So if you had got your students to do that, um, the task, you've presented the task in the form of a scenario. So you've, you've given them a scenario. They're working at the Choice magazine in their testing facility. They're testing a particular product and they're writing it up for the magazine. So the students are, produce a report comparing products such as, you know, five different types of detergent power or yogurt or car insurance. You could get them to choose what they wanted to compare to test and compare. And so then if the assessment is to be aligned with that task, then the context of that should assist you with the assessment of the task. So it wouldn't be aligned if you then marked that work according to guidelines for writing a different kind of research report like a thesis. For instance, you might say, oh, it doesn't have a literature review. Well, those particular reports do not have literature reviews. Um, the significance of the research, was, which is a typical component of a, a thesis proposal, for instance, uh, you, you know, you, you cannot be marking them on something that would not exist in the context of the original task. So the assessment should use the purpose of the work as a guide uh, for the assessment criteria. So questions to ask on authentic assessment. Are products and performances polished and refined rather than incomplete or rushed drafts? You know, if students have uh, put something together the night before and handed it in, that would not really be a polished and refined product. Do students participate in the activity for extended periods of time? So the time element is an important one. Something that you did in class yesterday and you're marking, assessing today would not be an authentic assessment. Are students assessed on the product of the investigation rather than by separate testing? If you're required to have an exam, sometimes we have to find ways to get around that. But ideally, it's not done by a separate test. And are there multiple assessment measures rather than a single measure? You've got varied products there. So a different kinds of measures is preferable to just a single measure. So in these short movies, I've described nine elements of authentic learning.